How much do wholesale price declines impact car prices in the near future? Well, that's something we're tracking and we're going to find out in the coming weeks. Two sources, Cox Automotive and Black Book, pricing index show over a 10% drop from one year ago. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Liz, we use Black Book pricing, or I should say rather you do, on behalf of our viewers. So we are very familiar with their data tracking, but now there's two reports out saying that wholesale prices of cars took a big dive last month on the auto auctions. The question is, how much impact will it have on car pricing in the near future of the car market? Will car dealers respond with similar drop in used car pricing? That will become apparent soon enough. For starters, here's this headline from Automotive News, which draws from Cox Automotive reporting, June U.S. wholesale used car prices take a dive. But the devil is in the details. How much is the drop? Cox Automotive's Mannheim Index, arguably the largest in the country, fell 4.2% in June, the largest recorded decline since April 2020. Well, here are some key points in this report. Number one, wholesale used vehicle prices last month experienced their largest decline since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Number two, Cox Automotive reported a 4.2% decline from May to June in its Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index, and it went down to 215.1. And third, the fall is a third consecutive monthly decline, according to Cox. Besides Cox Automotive's reporting this drop, Black Book is also reporting a drop, with both sources saying wholesale used vehicle prices declined to a sharper degree in June. The Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index by Cox Automotive is a measurement of wholesale used vehicle prices calculated by tracking vehicles sold at Mannheim's U.S. auctions and applying statistical analysis to those figures. It was that analysis that revealed the 4.2% drop from May wholesale pricing into the month of June. Cox adjusts that figure for mix, mileage, and seasonality. The Mannheim Index was 10.3% lower last month compared with the same month in 2022, according to Cox. The company also reported non-adjusted figures for the Mannheim Index, down 3.8% in June from May and down 10.1% year over year. While the drop may not seem like much at first glance, Chris Frey, Senior Manager of Economic and Industry Insights for Cox Automotive, says the 4.2% decline is among the largest declines in Mannheim Index history and the largest since the intensification of the COVID-19 pandemic in April 2020 when the index plunged 11.4%. He said the year-over-year -year seasonally adjusted decline for June also was large, an additional 2.7% drop from May's annualized 7.6% decline, Frey stated in a news release. Now, while the average drop year-over-year -year is 10.3%, let's take a look at individual car categories. Some dropped more than others. As you can see on this Mannheim report, compact cars dropped even more than 10%, going down 12.6%. Luxury cars dropped 11.8%, and mid-sized cars dropped 12.2%. In rounding out the categories of vehicles, pickups were down 6.6% from a year ago. SUVs and CUVs were down 10.5%. Vans were down 8.5% for an overall average drop of 10.3%. Frey added, as mentioned last month, auction prices were lower in the fall last year, and we expect these increasing year-over-year -year moves to shrink in the months ahead as the market normalizes. He also said that buyers at wholesale auctions appear to have taken an early summer break, <laughs> noting that Cox is expecting less volatility in the wholesale price movements through the end of the year. Cox Automotive Chief Economist Jonathan Smoke said, wholesale price declines in the second quarter have effectively erased price gains the industry saw in the first quarter. I remember seeing that. We were a little, a little disappointed to see that happen. He said this last Monday during a quarterly call about the Mannheim Index. Smoke added, the declines in May and June have created some worries about the declines continuing, but let me go ahead and spoil the ending and tell you that we do not expect the remaining months of the year to deliver declines like we just saw in the spring. Average non-adjusted wholesale prices for three-year-old vehicles, the largest model year cohort at Mannheim's auctions, declined in aggregate 3.8% over the last four weeks. Cox Automotive estimated the retail used vehicle supply in the U.S. was at 45 days at the end of June, down from 49 days at the end of May, and down from 52 days at the end of June 2022. Wholesale used vehicle supply is estimated to have ended June at 24 days, unchanged from the end of May, and down from 26 days at the end of June 2022. 
As we stated earlier, Black Buck data supports this recent drop in formation as well. Playing the role of a second industry indicator of wholesale used vehicle prices, Black Book has recorded a third consecutive decline in June as well. Black Book's used vehicle retention index, calculated using Black Book's published wholesale average value on two to six year old used vehicles, and weighted based on registration volume, adjusted for seasonality, vehicle age, mileage, and condition. The Black Book Index fell to 173.6 in June. That figure is 9.3% below where it was the same time in 2022, so very similar to the 10% reported by Cox, but it's still 51% higher than it was in March 2020, the final month of normalcy just as the pandemic was getting underway. So friends, we still have a ways to go to get the used car pricing on track with historical data. We'd love to read your comments in the comment section below, so if you're seeing any movement on car prices in your area, either now or in the coming weeks, please let us know. And that's our update for wholesale car pricing today. Also, a quick update on our hassle-free car buying process. We've been actively identifying and recruiting good dealers to connect with you, but as you can imagine, the process is taking time. As you may have noticed in the recent show we published on total dealer fees by state in 2022, the numbers are just staggering. That's something we aim to bring a stop to on behalf of car buyers, which means that at the moment we must avoid the most greedy dealers of the bunch. It's a sorting and vetting process. Over time, we'll out them and take business away from them. We'll have a lot more on that very soon. If you appreciated today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of new shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. From a free car buyer's guide to free email templates to use for car dealers to a list of fake fees and even the FTC rules printout. And we just recently added the spreadsheet we did on total car dealer fees by state in the U.S. for your convenient reading. Billions of dollars in fees are being collected. It's all there on thehomeworkguy.com, free for your download to use when you're car shopping. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. <laughs> Subscribing is something that's free to you and painless to do, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you've just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.